Hey, Calvin. Yeah. Did you know that Aladdin is from Markham? What does that even mean? Well, you know, like Aladdin, he, he grew up in Ontario. Aladdin grew up in Ontario? The guy from the book, the very old and fictional book? Yeah, no, the real life guy, you know? Like he went to a Catholic high school in, in Canada. I don't think that's true. Well, it is, you know what, just read a book. Welcome to Steel Town Gaming. Now today, I know I said we were gonna play a little bit of John Madden, but uh, we're spending a little bit of time building a big old set, so we're gonna have to wait till the next episode. But for now, we're gonna be transporting ourselves to the mean streets of Agrabah. Rob, why do you have an invoice for a very expensive DJ turntable and also a picture of a giant flamingo? Okay, Calvin, those are spoilers, so just all that and more will be revealed on the next episode of Steel Town Gaming. But for now, we're gonna play Aladdin in Nasira's Revenge for the PlayStation 1. The demo version. Okay, cool. So this episode, we're actually just playing video games. Yeah, it is gonna be a pretty short episode though, Calvin, cause uh, you know, it is the demo, so it's only about two levels long. <sighs> I remember as a young kid staying up late at night and just thinking about this game. You know, other kids my age were dreaming about things like girls and anime, but not me. I was thinking about Aladdin. But why aren't you playing the full version? Well, you know, I mean, every Christmas I'd ask for it, and you know, Christmas would pass and there'd be no game, birthdays would pass, no game. And just at some point, life just moves on without you. No, but like, why aren't you playing the full version now? <laughs> because, Calvin, this is the demo version. There's only a few levels. Rob, you're an adult now with disposable income. Correct. Yeah, you can't just go buy the full version? Well... Huh. Now, golly gee, look at all these mother effing games. Remember when Croc was gonna be the Mario 64 killer? Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty dumb. Yep. Yeah, if I was on the Croc development team, I'd kill myself. Okay, well, hold on. Okay. <sighs> Madison? Rob Winnick? <laughs> you piece of shit. Hey, what did, Madison, what are you, what are you doing here? Uh, looking for used lawnmower parts. <laughs> That's cool. I, uh, I actually found a couple in the back, right near the, uh, the ephemeral spikes of Wellington. What? The, the ephemeral spikes of Wellington. It was an inside joke. Don't worry, never mind. It was stupid. It was dumb. Calvin McGuire. Hello. Hey, uh, I see you guys are still filming things. Yep, we're filming everything, apparently. Cool, that's uh, pretty neat. Well, um, Thank you. I'm gonna go uh, ask the guy about some games and stuff, so cool. good seeing you guys. Um, I, I, uh, I was wondering, uh, I know, uh, you know, it's been a while. I, do you drink coffee? I do drink coffee. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> cool, well, uh, see you guys. Hey, do, uh, do, uh, uh, do you like coffee, Madison? Okay, that girl, that one of games, that was Madison Ritzy, and Rob had the biggest crush on her in high school for like three years. Oh, can we not talk about this on the show, please? No, they were inseparable. Like, he would not leave her alone, but she, she never ever liked him that way, but he was like a lost puppy and just was obsessed with her. You know what we should talk about instead? Let's talk about Twisted Metal. This is a fun game where you can play as a clown. And now and she's in our web series years later. That's the funniest thing. And like, you don't understand though, like his whole grade 11 year, he mapped out his schedule so he was in every single one of her classes. And prom, remember you asked her to prom in like a jokey way so if she said no it was fine but then she said no and you were not fine okay look look all right madison look i get she was a friend okay that's all she was i had a lot of friends i had you and i had uh... hey google cast photos of madison ritzy showing your photos on rob's bedroom wait TV. what you can do that 
Oh yeah, okay. Well, obviously she's dyed her hair now, but that's her. They used to do these like photo shoots all the time, which was basically just Rob's excuse to take photos of her and save them to his phone. Okay, well, you know why I took those photos? Because Calvin, I am a dreamer. Unlike you, who's just a stodgy old man that's gonna die alone someday because you have no feelings. Do you remember her boyfriend, Andrew? Because I remember her boyfriend, Andrew. Andrew? And I'm pretty sure you remember her boyfriend, Andrew. I do not remember Andrew Brown at all. Oh, you don't remember Andrew Brown. Well, you know his last name, so you must know something about him. Well, it was a guess. That was, was a, a good pretty guess. good guess. Yes. Hey, Google, cast photos of Andrew Brown. What? Stop! Showing your photos on Rob's bedroom TV. Oh, you hate to see that happen. Well, you know what else I'd like to point out? I'd like to point out that maybe we could also just talk about the basement song in Resident Evil. No, or we could talk about her boyfriend, Andrew. Do you remember him? Oh, Rob, come on, what? Look, I was 15 years old. I was going through a lot of complicated, non-violent emotions. Okay, but what, why, why do you have this? Do you know how bad this looks? Okay, I respect your opinion that maybe it looks a little bit bad, but to be honest, I you was cut just- cut off his arm. Wait, Rob, what is that? So what was the deal with that over the hedge photo? So basically the three of us all went to middle school together. It was me, Calvin, and Andrew. Andrew was about a year older than us, but he was still around. Well, yeah, I know that part I was there. Yeah, I'm trying to explain. So basically I saw Andrew in the hall and he was just getting on my nerves, you know? So I called him an idiot, which is the understatement of the century. Cause that guy, that guy's the Frank Sinatra of tripping over his own feet, okay? He's one of the biggest dweebs that I know. Okay, what if he sees this? Calvin, that dude is dumb. I bet he doesn't even know how to open up a YouTube. I bet he still has Netscape Navigator installed on his computer. I bet he pays for WinRAR. The guy is dumb. So long story short, he starts dissing me and everyone's watching. And so I say to him, Andrew, shut up. You're bad at playing video games. And he gets pissed. Okay. And I see the fire in his eyes. And he says back to me, Rob, I'm not bad at video games. You just play bad games. I play good games. Good games like Over the Hedge for the PSP. And he was being serious. Yeah, he was serious. And that's what was crazy. This is middle school. Everyone else is playing Call of Duty or Rock Band, and those are the opiates of the masses. But Andrew Brown was playing over the hedge for the PSP like a stupid idiot. Okay, well, I guess the evidence is pretty damning. I got it. Why do you have that? You don't even have a PSP. True, but when Andrew enlightened me with this information, I decided I could probably get the game and use it as a good prank. Or a, or a, a lark, or a, a jest. A jape. But then I just, I don't know, I couldn't think of anything. Put it in the box and it sat here for about 10 years. But today, today's the day of reckoning. Hey, Justin, how you doing, man? Hey, I was wondering, do you have Andrew Brown's number by any chance? He's a close friend of mine, it's his birthday coming up, so I was just hoping, you know, maybe I could surprise him with a nice birth birthday thing. You said Anthony sat diagonal of Samantha, and then you were behind him? Oh shit, okay, uh, Anthony! Hello, Isaiah, you fat chode, what's going on? All right, Rance, listen up, because I'm talking Facebook accounts, I'm talking Twitter handles, I'm talking Club Penguin logins, anything we can do with the Wayback Machine to find Andrew Brown's cookie crumb trail, because by the end of this, I want to know what time he shits and what it tastes like. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know me, I've been partying like nonstop since 2009. In fact, I'm like, Honestly, I'm so lit right now, I can barely even, like, hear you. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, it's just, just blowing out some more weed. Yo, Dangerous Dave, you remember me? Carol! It's Rob from Hill Park. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Say that again. And it's at a restaurant. Yeah, let me just... 
get the number down. Hold on. One second. Okay, so it's 416-792-FIRE. Yeah, that is super helpful. Thank you. We got him. So we're going to go confront him at his work? I don't, know. I don't know. What, are you going to confront him at his work? Rob, we're not going to damage any property, right? No, no, we're just going to get a nice pizza pie. <sighs> this is still such a bad idea. Hi, is this fourth man in the fire pizza? Yeah, yeah, it's a... Uh... Give me a fake name, fake name. Rob. Rob! Yeah, I had a pizza recently there, and I was hoping that maybe I could visit the chef who made it. His name was... Andrew Brown? Am I saying that right? Okay, gotcha. Is he working tonight by any chance? Perfect. Wow. Looks like the spiders caught a couple flies. King of Thieves. From the years you spent on top of the world, your early days of jauntiness and gallivanting, it ends today. May all your hopes and dreams crumble silently. May your every romantic affair end in unspoken hostility. The rivers of time run mighty hot because yours is the stay, Aladdin. A day of reckoning. Are you as excited as I am? For what? For everything. Okay, Rob, real talk. Let's not actually do whatever you're planning on doing here. Like, I'm sorry I brought up the Madison thing. I shouldn't have done that. Hey, don't be sorry. That was great content. The fans are gonna eat it up. Okay, but whatever you're planning, just don't do it. Revenge doesn't solve anything. You've seen all the movies about how revenge doesn't solve anything, right? Calvin, you know who I am, right? I work off of impulse and passion, okay? I'm Aladdin, and you're like Disney CEO Bob Iger, sitting alone in his ivory tower, counting pennies, and just uh, not taking any risks. Okay, why do you keep saying I don't take any risks? I live a perfectly fulfilling and very interesting life. And that's what it's gonna say on your gravestone too, is Calvin McGuire lived a very interesting and fulfilling life. Born in Hamilton, died in Hamilton, crushed to death by a punch buggy at Mr. Lube, never took any risks. Sad. I just don't see the value in confronting someone from high school. Like, he didn't bully us or do anything actually bad to us. <laughs> okay, look, is Andrew Brown a bad person? No. No. Is he good at, you know, making pizzas? To be determined. Is he as tall as me? Not a chance. But. Here's the thing, is like, Madison, that little twerp right over there, that guy, he got to be her boyfriend. He got to spend every lunch with her. He went with her to go see Mission Impossible 4 in the theater while I had to wait for it to get on video on demand and ask my mom to rent it for me. Rock. I cried the entire time, especially during the funny parts. Look, Madison Ritzy meant so much to me, and I'm just a footnote in her history. Andrew Brown single-handedly ruined my 2011 and 2012, and I don't get any of that time back. You know, do I still hate him? No, no, I, I don't, but it still sucks, you know? It's, it's an itch I've never been able to scratch. I, I won't do anything unless you're 100% on board, okay? You do make a good case. <laughs> All right, we're gonna raid the kitchen on the count of five. No, okay? I didn't actually agree to it. I just said you had to go. Okay, but you were going to. Ready? What? Five, four, three, two, what? one. Brown, 
from the years you spent on top of the world, your early days of jauntiness and gallivanting around, it ends today. May all your hopes and dreams crumble silently. May every romantic encounter end in unspoken hostility. The rivers of time run mighty hot because you, Andrew, are the idiot of time. What? Yeah, what? Hey, Andrew! Where? You, your early days of jauntiness and gallivanting. And, uh, Hey, Andrew, you pretentious ass. How is your jazz album coming? What the heck? Calvin? Let's go. Run. <laughs> <laughs> I think we lost them. Oh god, I'm out of breath. Man, you you really went for it. You you took a big risk there. <laughs> Respect. Thanks. What was that? What was that you were saying about a jazz album? Oh wait, you didn't know about that? No. Andrew, he made a jazz tribute album for like three years and he never finished it. But Janie Delaney, she heard it and said it was complete garbage. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, Rob, it was a jazz tribute to the movie Garden State. What? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Zach Braff? <laughs> yeah, the first track's literally called Natalie Portman. <laughs> oh my god. What? I know I said revenge doesn't solve anything, but I feel pretty damn good right now. <laughs> Well, you heard it here first, Steelheads. The Hill Park boys are back, and we're coming for you. Steeltown Gaming! Steeltown Gaming! Jafar!